Hello YouTube community, Larry Legend, Mobile Coins, and we are going to bring you another half dollar hunt. Let's go ahead and open this up, see what kind of treasures we have hidden inside. And... I don't see anything jumping out at me. Maybe this one. I don't know. I'll flip them over and see what lies on the other side. Stand by. Alright guys. Got our first find out of this box. Comes on roll number 11. It is... A 2007 if it'll focus focus you know, 2007 Philadelphia now um, this box is starting off slow that's okay cuz we had a good box before but I wanted to let you guys know um, the channel has hit a couple new milestones uh, and they're not really good uh, milestones but you know I'll, I'll take any kind of milestone alright so the first one happened just uh, a couple days ago and the decision's already been reversed Here, let me flip this around alright so what had happened was uh, One of my videos, it was uh, the one titled, uh, who's, uh, So Who's the Dork Now? That video got flagged and placed into restricted mode for having um, uh, inappropriate content. And I guess YouTube went ahead and reviewed it after it was flagged and decided that it wasn't uh, inappropriate content and they went ahead and removed the restriction on it so it's back in the uh, public uh, limelight again now, it was really weird because uh, they said it was uh, there was vulgar language in the in the video which they considered the word dork vulgar well it's slang vulgar we're not saying dork uh, as being vulgar to each other but the actual true definition of a dork is a slow dim-witted person and when we're poking fun at each other in these videos that's what we mean when we call them dork so that was the first milestone. We got a video placed in a restricted mode, then they took it out after they deemed it wasn't restricted. Now I just got an email uh, just uh, about 10 minutes ago. One of my videos, it was uh, the video titled, I Won the Lottery, has a copyright claim against it. Apparently, and I was uh, shooting this video in Circle K where I bought the lottery tickets in the background they were playing the radio and on the radio was uh, a song by Bruno Mars so the company that owns the copyright uh, w WPA or WPM something like that they uh, put a, a copyright against me and the only re there's no restrictions on it. Um, I could st I could still have the the music playing on it. Um, I could take no action and just uh, you know go with what they suggest. I could fight it, or I could remove the copyrighted uh, content. I'm not gonna fight it. They 
all they want is to be able to put ads on on my video that one video and I cannot monetize it I'm not big enough to monetize anything yet so they want to put ads on my uh, video my one video then so be it so I just hey thank you for noticing my channel um, and there's a there's a uh, a new milestone for us so I've been going through these and the second box isn't good at all there's nothing in here I mean I can't even get NIFC's out of this all right so let me flip this back around um, we'll pause it and I, if I find anything interesting I will loop you in all right, got our second find out of the box. This is a 2015. A couple later. Uh, let me see. Focus. I believe it's a Philadelphia, but as soon as it focuses, I'll let you know. Yes, it is a Philadelphia. So let's keep on hunting. All right, roll number 25, halfway through the box. Picked up another NIFC. This is a 2003 Philadelphia. So let's keep on hunting. All right, got another find. 2006 Philadelphia. Well, let's get back into this hunt. Okay, roll number 33. We've got our first silver of box two, 1968. Let's get back into this hunt. Hopefully we can find some more. The second half of this box is really heated up, so let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, guys, here's the wrap-up. We got four NIFCs, a 2006, 2003, 2015, and 2007, and our standalone silver, 1968. So, this is Larry Legend, Mobile Coins, wishing you and your family a wonderful day. We'll see you on the flip side.